So I'm switching the front hubs, the front locking hubs on my Dodge truck. It's an 89 Dodge short box, originally all half ton running gear. I swapped in Dana 60s front and rear. And the front axle is actually a Chevy Dana 60 out of a 1980, I believe, single wheel one ton. But you know what? The hubs and all that stuff, it's all identical between the Chevy Dana 60 front axle, the Dodge Dana 60 front axle, and even there was, I'm pretty sure there was some Ford Dana 60 front axles that uh, all those, that, those outer components, they, they work, they swapped right across. Even actually when I installed this front axle, I wasn't sure it didn't come with uh, hubs, or pardon me, it didn't come with rotors or calipers or anything like that. So what I did is I just ordered calipers and rotors for uh, an 89 Dodge Cummins truck with the Dana 60. And they hook connected right onto the Chevy with absolutely the same parts, no issue whatsoever. So whatever kind of Dana 60 you have in your truck, this information might be valuable to you. If uh, what I'm talking about sounds like it might be interesting to you, stick around. So these are the tools I used, just uh, external snap ring plier, the Allen key actually came with the kit, but I just grabbed another one for my little stubby ratchet just to make things a little easier for myself. And a uh, flat screwdriver for pounding on, a little flat screwdriver just for popping that uh, outer lock ring, and the hammer to do the beating. So these are the old Spicer locking hubs. They're actually perfect functionally, but they kind of look like crap and honestly this truck is not a hardcore off-roader at least if it becomes one i'm going to kill my son so what i'm doing is i'm switching them out to a real nice set of mile marker ones that i picked up because i know they're going to work really smoothly and they look a whole lot better so here we go from spicer to mile marker just there's six screws now these have been replaced by flathead screws, which super suck. I don't know if I've ever seen any that were anything but uh, Allen head until these ones. But there you go, you just flip those out quickly. And that should pop right off. Ooh, it looks a little grungier on the other side. You can see there's been some moisture in there at some point. Now the next thing is uh, there's a locking ring around the outside and all guys go to do is get your little flat blade in there and you watch me watch this thing fight me now that I said all you got to do. And now after that lock rings out of there you just pop this out of here and then just pop this here c-clip out of there or snap ring not a c-clip pop this snap ring out of here She's a pretty sturdy little snap ring, but it's no big deal if you've got the right pliers. And let's see if we can get this, this piece out. Oh. So there, that's the old spicer out. Now I'm just going to clean this up real good so I get all the schmoo out of there and we'll stuff our new pieces in. Now, especially when there's rust involved, I use WD-40, it's actually a really good cleaner and it does 
kind of dissolve and get the rust out of there. So I'm just going to hose it all down good with WD-40. And just wipe it out. So next thing, nice new, uh, nice new hub, fresh out of the package. It actually comes with a Allen wrench and everything. It's pretty, pretty sweet little package, and it was only a couple hundred bucks. Um, just looking at the the stuff, the all the different parts and pieces, it looks like real nice, high quality stuff it works just on a slightly different principle i guess than the old spicer one if anything maybe the spicer well i'm gonna say probably the spicer one's a little bit tougher a little more robust and if you're looking to uh you know hardcore off-road and whatnot it's probably the one for you but realistically for me and the way i'm going to use this truck there's no reason these mile markers, this is a nice, good, solid steel chunk. And uh, this just this just slides back with the locking mechanism and, uh, and locks in your hub. So yeah, this, this, this is nice, solid steel chunk. I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this as far as quality of, of the part. So what you do is you just line up your inner splines and your outer your your inner splines first on the on the axle and then just work that around until that slides in there and you're good to go so the next thing is uh there's a there's like a spring lock one of these spiral lock sort of things like you might see on a on a piston ring slide that in there they slide in real nice and easy. And then outside of that, there's one of these spring lock things, just, just like the just like the original factory one was, and that just slides in there and clips in over top of the springy washer. Now, just because I'm a little particular, I'm gonna just tappy tappy and make sure that this thing is nicely seated it looks like it's a good thing I did yeah that's fitting in there just about nice so there you go that's all of it together and uh, all you got to do is put a bolt in like so Use this to hold it, line it up with one of the threaded holes. And what I always do is I always make sure that I can start all my fasteners before I tighten everything up, anything up. It just uh, saves you hammering something home and then having to loosen it off again. Now this snap rings, this snap rings one thing that doesn't come new in the kit, but uh, all I'm going to do is just slide the the original snap ring back in the same groove, and we're all good to go. So one thing I forgot to mention is this little pin needs to index in that hole, and that is going to help you to line everything up. When I first put it together just there, I went to hammer everything home. And it just, it wouldn't go. So that's when I realized there was something wrong and I knew, I remembered I had to index that stupid damn pin. So there you go. Screw those all in. And uh, once everything's nice and snug, just verify that it will go to to lock and then click back to free one more thing look at that a little uh locking hub tool i pretty much 150 percent guarantee you will never use that 
but nonetheless, it's super cool. Well, that's it. Um, got them in, got them done, pretty happy with them. Overall, the they went in really well. They look to be nice quality pieces. The only thing that I have to say is a bit of a complaint, and I kind of kick myself for not looking before I bought them. But right on the box, in little wee tiny letters on the very bottom where you'd never look, the dreaded letters, made in Taiwan. Anyway, they do look like good quality parts, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be happy with them. They seem to click real smooth, and they should be good. Thanks for watching.